what's a good sound? Hi, I'm Justin Jarrell, and this is How to Drink Whiskey. No. Stop it. You're not an alcoholic. I mean, it's better... This is called a Glencairn glass. It is a glass made specifically for drinking and appreciating whiskey. Note the shape. You've got a big bowl on the bottom with a very narrow, fluted top. What that does is it takes all of the spirit, the alcohol in there, and focuses it into one area, so you get aroma that comes right around here. This is a glass that you use your nose first with. When you pour, you don't want to fill the entire glass. That defeats the entire purpose. You want to fill to right about here. This is all you need. The first thing you do is nose it. You want to appreciate the aroma that comes out of the whiskey. Pick up the glass, swirl it around a little bit, and stick your nose right in and breathe. The second time you nose it, you want to open your mouth. It allows the alcohol vapor to travel through so you can get the best aromas concentrated in the whiskey. The next thing you do is take a sip and hold it side to side, front and back. Let it wash over the palate. You do this to actually taste the whiskey. If you're just shooting it back, which you should never do, don't do shots of whiskey. Stop it. This whiskey is 60% alcohol by volume. This is one of the times it's okay to add water. When the whiskey is below 45% alcohol by volume, you probably don't want to add water. You can, but it's a personal choice. When you add water, you don't want to just pour water in. You can always add more if you're doing it slowly, but you can't take water back. So, use a dropper. When you add water, you change the overall flavor profile of the whiskey. So you're getting two different whiskeys. Remember, always try the whiskey on its own first. Have it neat. Some people insist on putting ice in their whiskey. Those people are criminals and should be punished. Whiskey on the rocks comes from the old Scottish tradition of literally walking up a Scottish river, picking up rocks that have been cooled by that river, and putting it in their whiskey. So if you're going to have your whiskey on the rocks, use actual rocks. These are non-porous whiskey stones, meaning whatever you put them in, they won't take on that flavor. They'll just be cold. You follow these steps to enjoy. Nose, taste, and repeat.